What's up, everybody? My name is Evan, and I'm going to tell you today about an NFT feature that will completely change the way that you work with NFTs from within your app. So um, there are three main issues that developers run into when they're trying to integrate NFTs into their apps. First of all, smart contracts. Second, getting crypto to pay for gas fees. And third, working with private keys. So let's take a look at each of these in a little bit more detail. First of all, smart contracts. So coding smart contracts is difficult. Um, if you want to learn to do it yourself, you can do that, but it might take you some time and uh, you need to get it right or else th you could have security vulnerabilities in your smart contract. Um, if you want to hire developers to do this for you, that's going to be really difficult because they're hard to find and they're expensive if you do find them. They are few and far between and finding experienced enough blockchain developers is not easy. Um, as far as getting crypto to pay for gas fees, this is not easy either. You have to go to an exchange to buy enough crypto to mint as many NFTs as your users or you are going to want to mint on whatever blockchain you're minting on, right? Um, but if as soon as you start sending money to an exchange, your bank might not like that. As soon as you exchange uh, crypto, you have to declare that on your taxes. And depending on what country you live in, this might not even be legal. So this is a lot of hassle in a lot of different ways. And if you're doing it at any sort of scale, like for enterprises who want to mint thousands or millions of NFTs, this is a lot to keep track of. You have to make sure you have enough crypto on every blockchain you're minting on, um, or else you won't be able to mint NFTs. Um, and third, the private key issue. Um, private keys are really sensitive data. If anyone takes your private keys, they can take everything you have at that address. All your crypto, all your NFTs, it's gone. You won't get it back. Um, so, But you have to use these to mint NFTs. And if your users want to mint their own F NFTs, they're going to have to use private keys somehow. So this opens up all sorts, all sorts of vulnerabilities, and uh, it's a huge hassle to deal with. And you'll have to spend a lot of time building some sort of a solution to securely mint NFTs. So we've created a feature called NFT Express, and this solves these three issues perfectly. How? Well, first of all, smart contracts. You don't need to deploy or code smart contracts because you can use ours. They're already deployed on five blockchains, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Celo, and Harmony. Uh, you can mint the NFTs from our pre-deployed smart contracts. The NFTs will be yours. You just don't have to go through all the hassle of creating or deploying your own smart contracts. Next, uh, buying and holding crypto. How do we get around that? Well, you just pay for a Tatum plan monthly, quarterly, annually, and your gas fees are deducted as credits from your paid plan. So you don't have to hold crypto. You don't have to make sure you have enough at different blockchain addresses to pay for your users to mint NFTs. All they do is mint and the uh, credits are deducted from your plan. Um, our plans start at nine bucks a month and they go as high as you want in terms of how many NFTs you're going to need to mint. But you don't have to worry about any aspect of buying, exchanging or holding crypto. And finally, private keys. So since we're minting the NFTs on our side from our smart contracts and sending them to whatever address you specify, you don't need to send private keys and neither do your users. So this means they can be minting NFTs on the metro from their smartphone and there's no security issue involved with sending private keys over the internet because they're not sending private keys. This simplifies the whole process so much and you will have zero security vulnerabilities because our smart contracts are secure and audited and built by experienced blockchain developers. Let's take a look at how easy it is to use NFT Express to mint NFTs. First things first, you're gonna have to sign up for a Tatum API key. So you go to dashboard.tatum.io you can log in with your Google account, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever. Um, and you're going to want to create an API key. You're going to have to choose a um, paid plan. So either start basic or an enterprise plan, uh, which you'll have to get in contact with us for, um, depending on what blockchain you're going to want to be minting on. If you're minting on Celo or Harmony, um, gas fees are very low. So you can probably just go with a start plan and you can mint a ton of NFTs. If you're minting on Polygon or Binance Smart Chain, those are a little bit higher gas fees. You probably want a basic plan. Uh, if you're minting on Ethereum, you're going to have to go for an enterprise plan because gas fees are outrageous on Ethereum. So, you know, $49 will not cover minting even one NFT at today's gas prices, I don't think. So anyways, um, you get an NFT or NFT, you get an API key um, and you, yeah, you buy it. So, and you go through the whole payment process. I'm not going to do that because I already have an API key. Um, 
once you've purchased your API key, it'll show up here and you can show your API key and copy it. So you're gonna wanna paste this into your IDE or into the header of the API calls that you'll be sending. Um, so this is how you communicate with Tatum's infrastructure. Next, let's get sending some uh, Mint requests. So here is what uh, the code would look like using Tatum JS, our JavaScript SDK. Um, here is the body of the API call and the only three parameters you need are the name of the chain, in this case, Matic, Polygon, um, the address to which you're gonna be minting the NFT. So this can be your own wallet or a wallet of the user who's buying the NFT or to whom you're sending the NFT, and the URL, uh, the URL of the metadata that you're going to be including in the NFT. So let us use NFT Express, here it is, yep, boom and we'll send it. And there we go, we've got a transaction ID. If we go to the Polygon Blockchain Explorer, all right, we can check out this transaction and keep refreshing, it might take a second with Polygon. Whoop, 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 whoop. There it is. So here's the transaction hash. As you can see, uh, it was minted from this contract, and uh, here is the token ID that was minted. Um, if you wanted to get the uh, metadata of this transaction, you definitely could using Tatum. Uh, I will link you to the API call to do that. Um, if you want to display any information about this transaction, we've got a bunch of different get NFT um, blockchain data calls available to you. So. If you want to mint it on a different chain, let's go for Celo and choose NFT Express again. Great. As you can see, all that's changed is the name of the chain and the respective addresses. So different address to which it will be minted, same metadata. Um, this this uh, parameter is only necessary on Celo. This is just saying to the contract that the gas fees will be paid in the native currency of the blockchain. You don't have to uh, supply those fees. Uh, again, we take care of it for you and just deduct it from your plan. But this parameter does have to be in the uh, API request for Celo. So again, give it a go. Another transaction ID. Let's now head over to the Celo Blockchain Explorer. Boop, boop, boop. And there she blows. Again, you can see the contract that it was minted from, um, the to address that it was minted to, and the token ID. Uh, here is our token. And here's the location of the image on IPFS. So that's all there is to it. As you can see, there's no private key here. Um, there's no gas parameters, nothing like that. Everything is taken care of on Tatum's end. Um, so just think about how you can use this and leverage it in your apps uh, and the possibilities it's gonna open for you for allowing your users to mint from anywhere, for minting tons of NFTs, for not having to worry about buying crypto, um, and the fact that you can already do it on five blockchains and you don't even have to code any smart contracts. So, um, Please subscribe, like this if you liked it. Um, head on over to our Discord if you have any more questions. I'm always there, our developers are always there. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, follow us on LinkedIn and on Twitter. That's where we're gonna be updating about all the cool stuff that we're adding to Tatum. And uh, I hope to see you in the future. Happy coding, bye-bye.